That's that's not but great. That's not but great. How you doing? I'm doing well. What's your name? Joe. Joe. Joe, are you a water conference? Is that is that what everybody is in? Water conference? Is that what you are? Why? <laughs> and now when I say why, I'm just being facetious. Uh, that was a wonderful uh, painting here. What, what's, his, what's your name? Charles. 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 Beautiful. And I heard you say you like to leave a lot of whites in your canvas. Now, I'm an abstract painter, and I also like to leave a lot of whites in my canvas. Now, you guys being uh, watercolorists, how, how many know Vonnie Whitworth? Everybody's hands should be fine. <laughs> Everybody's hands. But I don't feel so bad if you, that those that didn't raise the hand because when, they, when I asked how many know me, and just a few hands went up. So, yeah, Vonnie is a uh, nationally known watercolorist. Has she spoken? No, uh, we haven't had the fortune of getting her over here yet. You haven't had the chance to have her here? No, we would love to. It's something we got to work out. You really, you really should, because uh, Bonnie is an inspiration to me. We have been in traveling the show circuit all over the state of Virginia and even further uh, exhibiting. And listen at this. I did that up until about, oh, maybe 10 years ago. I... Um, I stopped the show circuit because it, it's, it's a lot of work. How many of you guys exhibit like that? How many? Nobody? No, we have a few. We have about three. Three? three? Boy, what, what do the rest of you guys do? <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, I travel the show circuit and locally, Stockley Gardens Boardwalk did Stockley Boardwalk for over 40 years and was just invited uh, to a, um, what was it, the Boardwalk uh, Club or whatever that was that my wife and I were invited to uh, during the show just uh, to have lunch and go out and view the show. Now look, I'm just select selecting a few colors here and most of my colors, as you can see on my palette, that, that, that's a painting right there. <laughs> Most of my colors are um, ultramarine blue, uh, Payne's gray, a little bit of aqua sometimes, uh, a little bit of cadmium red light. How many of you guys have favorite colors that you like to use? Anybody? You're right on my palette. <laughs> I'm right on your palette? Say your name. You are? Terry Wiley. Oh, you're Terry. Hey, Terry, thanks for, we never met and talked. No, never got to meet. Never met. No, no. In fact, Terry told me he didn't know who I was, so he said, <laughs> I'm inviting you, Ken, because somebody here must have said you need to invite Ken Wright to come and do it. Barbara! <laughs> Barbara! <laughs> you owe you a commission or something? Wow. And uh, as you can see, I'm left-handed, and um, but I can use the right hand, too. So uh, I don't know if you call it, was that ambidextrous? Yeah, ambidextrous. Yeah, yeah. And my wife is left-handed, but our kids are uh, right-handed. Wow. Both of us are lefties, my kids are righties, <laughs> you know. But um, my mother was left-handed, but during that time, they would make you spank your hand, mm -hmm. make you use your right hand. Mm -hmm. But when I was coming along, they didn't do that. <laughs> so they let me just do... I used to even kind of hook a bit because the, the way the desks were made, everything was on the right side. So that's why I had to do that. But my wife, Simonetta, she did it correctly. I don't know how, but she turned her paper in the correct way. I had good teachers. She, she had a good teacher. My teacher, Barbara. And I taught my children the correct way. I'm left-handed when I taught school. They did it just like... Just, just like <laughs> the way it should be should done. Be. Yeah. Now, how much time have I got? Uh, we got about an hour. That old? Hmm. <laughs> well, who, who, who's my timekeeper? Yeah, I, can, I can be your timekeeper. Your timekeeper? Okay, because I like to talk. 
This what is I, our last meeting, so you go as long as you want. If oh, they kick us out of here, they kick us out. Oh, what time is the museum closed? Wow. Bro. What, what time did you need to go? Before the Cowboys play. Oh, the Cowboys. Are, are for, listen, my wife's a diehard Cowboy fan. Uh, She's going to keep you on the block. So I have to be a Cowboy <laughs> fan as well. I know. I know. Issue, right? Yeah. I have to be a Cowboy fan as well as Pittsburgh. So, but that works out. Now, guys, if you want to ask any questions, you can talk to me and ask me questions as I'm working. I can talk and walk and work. Because this is my 50th anniversary as a professional fan. Wow. You guys are not even over. You guys are just babies. Huh? You all weren't even born when I started. You got a wish. No, baby. Oh, okay. No, baby. Yeah, baby. I'm a, an acrylic painter. Okay. I use acrylics. And, um, uh, Never use, well, I, I have experimented with watercolor. Watercolor is, is, is a hard medium to master. It's hard to master watercolor. But I'm an acrylic painter. I started out uh, back in the 60s um, with oils. And uh, I was more or less a traditional painter back then. I, I painted uh, landscape. And uh, I'm just putting a little water here just to wet it down just a little bit. And uh, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. And uh, I'm also a painter that paints flat. I paint flat. My water over here, everything's set up to paint. So when I paint, I create as I walk. I create as I walk. So I can't tell you what's going to happen up here. But I can tell you, Barbara, that this is going to be a successful piece. <laughs> this is going to be, this is going to be my most successful painting. <laughs> Ain't that a good start? That's an excellent start. <laughs> because listen, if, if you don't believe in yourself as a painter and believe that what you do is so good, then what are you going to do if what do you expect me to think, right? If you're not excited, how many of you guys are excited about your work when you paint? Oh yeah. Just one or two. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna take a survey again. So those of you that did not raise your hands, are you excited about what you do? Those that didn't raise your hand, talk to me. Yes. Tell me something. You are? Okay. This is a little bit of ultramarine blue I've got here now. And Payne's gray. Now, Ken does not use black. I don't use black in my painting. But, how do I get the look of black? What colors? Talk to me. Come on. Don't be ashamed. Somebody say what? Did somebody say ultramarine blue? Yeah. Did somebody say burnt over? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Did somebody say that? Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> Come on, guys. Talk to me. Okay. Y'all want me to do all the talking. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, if you ultramarine blue and burnt umber will give you a nice looking black, or it looks black, okay? If you blend those together. Now most of this, of what you see up here now, is ultramarine blue, right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little paint okay. grainer. <laughs> if I say so, huh? <laughs> If I say so. Yeah, man, talk about it. Um, I use that a lot too. So, most of this is ultramarine blue, and I've got a little bit of, uh, is that raw sienna? No, that's, uh, wait a minute. 
What is that? Let me look at the two. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of raw sienna and ultramarine blue. That's what's going on up here now. Is that okay? Looks great. Yeah. Look good so far? Yeah. Now listen, an art critic said in an interview about my work, and this was several years ago, and that was Bob Trotter. How many remember that name? <laughs> so who? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bob Trotter. You remember Bob Trotter? You know, he was a uh, writer for the Virginian Power. Mm -hmm. And what he said about Ken Wright, he says, Ken does not paint people, places, or things. He is very simplicity, and he paints what he feels, he paints quickly, and he leaves it up to who? To, to create the view. And, yeah, who said that? I think your wife. Huh? <laughs> I think the person we're all going to listen to. He leaves it up to the viewer to create what you see. Here, here's what I say when I speak on my work. Listen to this now. You guys got your notes and all? You're taking notes? Yes, yes. If not, you should. <laughs> Because I'm gonna say some stuff that's good, man. <laughs> Y'all ever had an abstract painter before? I don't think we have. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have, we have some yeah. abstract yeah. painters in our group. Oh, John James. You do? We do. Yeah, we. John James. Who is it? He's not, he's he's not, not here. here. He's not oh, here. Oh, wait a minute. You got an abstract painter demo on you. He's not here. You abstract painter? <laughs> he's not here today. He's not here today. It's kind of a shame. <laughs> it is a shame. Shame. <laughs> Cause I could teach him a few things, <laughs> and I'm not, and I'm, and I don't take that back. Why? Because I've been doing this for so many years that I could really, I could really share some things with you that you probably wouldn't see or hear from other artists, other painters. Yeah, man, we got, we got some walking here, buddy. <laughs> we got something to walk. Here's another thing that Bob tried to say about Ken Wright. He said, his work is very simple. Simplicity. Easy movement. Not a lot going on. And the trick is knowing when to stop. You got to know when to stop, is you? <laughs> you got to know when to stop. My wife always tell me, Something I always say, stop. <laughs> That's good enough. But since I'm at the studio painting mode, I'm at the dark center. Y'all know what dark center is. Y'all been there? Yeah. How many been there? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're all going to be there next we're next because we're starting to have our meetings there next coming in January. Oh, yep. oh, you are. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we are. Well, stop in my studio. We will. We'll see you ev every <laughs> month on Sunday. <laughs> my door is always open, even when I'm not there. You see what I just did? What did I just do? You lifted some paint. Huh? What did I do? Are you lifting it? You lifted it. Somebody said lift it. Who said it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see good back there. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that up with just a little water That's nice. on the brush. Just a little bit. Just wow. Wow. Look at that stroke, man. That stroke. <laughs> what artist do you know that just in a few strokes, just a few strokes, you could tell it was his work. Pollock. Huh? Pollock. Pollock. Pot, who else? Uh, Picasso. Who, who said Picasso? Picasso. <laughs> now, Ken Wright, how, who, how many can tell my work when you see it? That's two people. <laughs> <laughs> They'll know it after today. Yeah, we, yeah. We, will, we will get more They'll know it after today. Before you come that's the next right, time. That's why you're here. <laughs> y'all are really, y'all are really making we'll me do our own work. <laughs> I mean, nobody, only two people are familiar with Ken Wright, knows his work. Only one or two people, love, that knows me. Wow, I That's thought right everybody knew here. me. They'll know you after today. After the day? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they may stop me in the grocery store. Ah! Ah! Does he go to the grocery store? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. Now. Okay. Now. All right. Watch out now, guys. And, and I always use mostly the same size brush when I'm working. It's always mostly the same size brush. I'm looking for Payne's gray, that is. Mostly the same size brush. And even on large canvases that are really huge, like 60 by 72. What's that? 60 by 72. Is that five by what? Five by six. Five by what? Six. Six. Mm -hmm. Can you mention that at one point you were a, a kind of a representational artist doing yeah. landscape stuff? What 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 yeah. made you go from being a landscape artist to doing abstracts? Talk about it. Yes, sir. Good good question. Good. Did everybody hear that question? Yep. Yep. Why did I go from traditional painting to painting abstract? Here's the reason. When I was in my traveling about the show circuit and exhibiting my work, and even in, in, in jury shows, I would look at my work and I would look at other artists' works and everything looked the same. Mm -hmm. Tree, especially in half the roads. That's why I'm glad to see what you saw do. Mm -hmm. not, not birds and bees and flies and Things like that, um, <laughs> boats on the water, you know, ships, gulls flying, that kind of thing. Maybe some landscape. I love landscape. Oh my gosh, that's what I painted. I was a landscape artist traditionally, and but when I would exhibit and look around, everything looked the same. I said, wait a minute, where is my work? Because everybody's doing the same thing. I want it to be me, and I want you to look at what I do and say, hey, that's a Ken Wright. So that's what, that was back in the, woo, early 70s, maybe mid-70s, I went towards more abstract, but I had a lot of feel of traditional painting in it. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. I had the feel of, of uh, traditional painting in the abstract, like Sun on the Hill was some of the titles that I used. Uh, what else? Melody in Blue, because I also had a painting, not painting, but also a musical background. And um, Miles Davis, kind of blue. Yeah, so I would title paintings and paint sometimes with an abstract piece that had, it looked like maybe a cabin on the hill. And I mean to tell you, boy, that, that was awesome stuff. I really loved it. But like I said, I got away from more and more and more from a traditional, and where my wife go? She leave. <laughs> <laughs> And what I, did, I think I should be a, oh, put him in the front because he's going to put it on Facebook. He's going to put a bell in there. <laughs> yeah, and, and what I did was, like I said, gradually went towards the uh, more abstract. And, and abstract painting, my style of abstract painting is like nobody else's. After you see my work, and I hope you see it more, especially when you come to the art center, you're going to be able to look at Ken's work and you're going to say, wherever you go and look, you're going to say, that's a Ken. That's a Ken Wright painting because you're going to know my style from just, from just that. Okay? How's that sound? Sounds good. Sounds good? So, Ken, are you trying to get a mixture of types of edges or are you looking for certain types of blending or what, what are you thinking? Search me again. Are you looking to uh, achieve... This, this ear doesn't get as much as that one. <laughs> are you looking to achieve uh, certain types of edges in your painting? Or are you looking to see uh, blending or warm, cold? Or what are you thinking as wow. you're painting? Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Good question. Did y'all hear what he said? Ask it. Mm -hmm. 
both, all. A little bit of hard edge, a little bit of blending. Now, not much hard edge because a lot of times I do the hard edge, I will actually use, and when you come to my studio, you'll see some of the pieces that have more hard edge sometimes and a blend of soft edge. I use a uh, tape, right? But the butt part, you have to use it correctly and in the right way, Barbara. <laughs> because you don't want any paint coming under the tape, right? And that looks terrible if that happens to you. You don't want that to happen. Wow. Did you get a shot of that one? No. Did, could you see me too? Okay. <laughs> hey, is this still working? It's still going. You're on video, yeah. Okay. I know what he looks like, right? So I Ken, we're going to put you on YouTube. You're going you're yeah. to be popular. Yeah, 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 you need to. You need to. But, um, yeah, man, it's like a little bit, a little bit of that. Now, now, what I'm doing now, as, as I paint, I finesse as I go. What's that mean? And push the paint into the surface in various ways. Say it again. It looks like you are using different levels of pressure on the brush to... Yeah. To yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Talk about it. Tell them. Tell them all. <laughs> tell them all. <laughs> now, I was about to tell you guys... When I start to paint, or when I speak about my work, what I say is this. I say, hear, hear the melody. See, see the movement. And feel the emotion. Wow, that's powerful. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? See the melody. Wow. See. Is that what I, no, that, is that how I said it? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the melody. Here's the melody. Here's the melody. That's right. See the motion. I guess it is. And feel the what? The movement. The movement. The movement. I had to sit down because I was feeling the movement. <laughs> <laughs> but see, if you don't, if you don't feel or see any of that stuff, then you just missed it. You missed it. A lot of people say, "Well, Ken, what's it supposed to be?" You don't ask an artist that. Does anybody ever ask you? Is she? Is she no. All the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> I could be 99% done and they'll ask me, what is it? It's a train. What's it supposed to be? And I'm a representational artist. <laughs> What's it supposed to be? What is and it? my answer is this. What do you see? Mm -hmm. What do you see? Look at it. Don't take the first impression. Lingo a while. Let the piece speak to you. It may speak to you, it may not. Now, most of the time, women look at my work, they see movement, they see dance, they see all kinds of creative things. A lot of times, men will look and say, Ken, I don't get it, man. I don't see nothing. I don't understand. Well, that's okay, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> Because, you know, you, you don't see, you don't understand. But most people, if you can't look at it and it's a bird or it's a tree or it's a, a landscape or it's a, um, what, a horse galloping. And, and I've got a horse. His name is Mr. Major. <laughs> I use him a lot when I do. Huh? Now I'm going to ask another question. How many know that Ken Wright does... Buffalo Soldier painting. I know. Other than Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Who else knows? I know. Have you seen him? Have you seen any of them? I, I've seen, I think, in your office, possibly. In, in the studio, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, but I'm an abstract painter, but those pieces are a little bit more traditional looking mm -hmm. with an abstract feel about them. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, I'm excited in doing them because 
I'm a, I'm a speaker, a historian on the black cowboy and the buffalo soldier. Mm -hmm. Did you know that, Bobby? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take you when I go. <laughs> Let you be the spokesperson. Yeah, yeah. I hide very little from her. You and my wife. <laughs> Y'all can be the spokesperson when I'm, uh, oh man, when I'm moving about. Boy, it's some good stuff going on there, man. It's some, oh man, I'm excited. But those pieces, in fact, I only have two originals left. So I've got to get busy on those. Why? Because I just finished a book. Did you know that, did you know that Bible? I did not know that. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. I just finished a book. It's titled uh, Buffalo Soldier and Black Cowboy History. Mm. And the cover is one of my paintings of a Buffalo Soldier on a horse. Mm. And then inside, there are more paintings of no abstracts in there because I'm talking about those Buffalo Soldiers. Mm -hmm. And those are pieces that I've done that represent that feel. Right. And I don't look at any photographs. No. It's all in here. <laughs> you, kill you see what I mean? <laughs> I don't look at photographs. Why? Why? I use my horse as, as my, he, he, he's the one that I use for my, uh, what do you call it? Model. 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 Yeah. I use Major when I'm looking at him out there in the pasture running about with other horses. I take, a picture, take pictures of him. And I say, whoa, boy, I like that one. And then I'll come back to the studio and I'll create a Buffalo soldier riding him. That's good stuff, man. Any love? Tell, tell him about me. And, <laughs> and, no. and, um, I've seen pictures of him with a cowboy hat. You've seen pictures? Yeah. yeah. I read your Ford in uh, Burnell's book. Is it Burnell's book? Oh, you read about me in Burnell's yeah, book? Yeah, I did. Woo! How many knew I, how many knew I was in Burnell's book? Who knows who Burnell? Bob Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I feel pretty good because. Some of you guys don't know who Burnell was. Don't know who Ken Wright is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how about, we're, how about, we're, not, how, we're not bad. We're just ignorant. <laughs> Give us a break. <laughs> Look, you said it. You said it. Who, who is your famous? Who is your favorite watercolorist? Ooh, that's rough. Um, mm -hmm. I love Bonnie. I love Bonnie. Yeah. So who do you? Whose work do you look at and you try to emulate maybe some feel from that art from that artist? Oh, wow. Charles Burchfield. Who? Charles Burchfield. Okay, who else? Tom Schaller. All right. Watercolors. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Architectural. John, yeah. John Selman. Okay. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah. And but people ask me. Who, who, who are some of my favorite uh, artists? And I'll be honest with you. Gosh, I can, well, I can say too. When I came here, my wife and I, we're from Richmond, Richmond, Virginia. And we came here to attend Norfolk State. I'm in the middle of Norfolk State. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see a little bit of running right there? Let's let him do it, see what happens. And uh, now how can you, yeah, how can you speed up that running? How, how, can, I, how can I guide where that's going? No, I'm not gonna touch the cans. What, what'd you say? Can I do this to the floor? I don't know. Uh, well, we'll clean it. Just do. Well, it is our last day here. <laughs> That's a, yeah, whatever. It's your last day here. We, we may never be invited back, but sure. <laughs> so, you can blame it on me, huh? You can blame it on Ken. But just put a little water under it and let it do its thing. Now, as you know, how many of y'all have tried acrylics? Yeah, quite a few. As you know, it dries pretty quickly, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It dries pretty quickly. I mean, really quick. parts of this painting is already dry. It's already dry, man. Already. So, 
what you do, you have to work. You have to work pretty quickly because the paint is drying. The paint's not waiting on you. It's drying as you look at that little drop right there. Ah, boy, come on with him. It's drying as you're walking and talking. <clears throat> so you have to know where it's going and what's happening, right? Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Patty. Pa Patty. Patty? Mm -hmm. Am I right, Patty? Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. Okay. Ken, do you have uh, goals? Do you have art goals? Goals? Yes, sir. Woo! Yeah, my goal is the next painting. The next piece. What's my best painting? The next one. The next one. Mm -hmm. That's the best one. The, the one you're about to do. But the better one is the next one. That's my goal. And to keep, keep learning, keep painting, keep being excited about what I do, and keep selling. That's my goal. And my dad taught me. My dad was an artist too. And I used to watch him at the drawing board, watch him painting and, and doing stuff. He was, he was a watercolorist, but you know what he used? Now, I'm gonna say a word now. I wonder if you guys know what that means. Tempera? Tempera paint? That's what my dad used. He was a tempera painter. And he did uh, scenes of downtown Richmond, mm -hmm. of the, of the uh, African-American neighborhoods, African-American YMCA. And I used to watch him paint. And, and he would take me to the uh, Museum of Fine Arts up in Richmond. And I would go through, take me through the museum and I would look at the ancient <laughs> Egyptian art. And when we met, we were high school sweethearts. What, what I always take you, love? That was a date. <laughs> museum. Go <laughs> to the museum. Go to the museum. And, and, and we enjoyed, we enjoyed doing that. Make that that boy is still walking. <laughs> that was singular. We enjoyed. <laughs> I just went. What'd you say, love? Mm. Say when we got to the Egyptian, that scared me. That that down down. Oh, down. the Egyptian with that, the with, yes, with the that tombs. That was kind of scary. And all of that down there. Yeah. They yeah. 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 Do they? Yeah. Oh, I'm. Yeah, it, it's 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 one here. <laughs> it's it's uh, an exhibit here. Mummies yeah. and stuff and we all have, that. like South American art. There's a lot of really uh, ancient art here. It's yeah, I know it's a lot of it here. Oh. Uh, at the museum here. Ken, how lot. much? How much? How many paintings would you say you do? How often do you do them? Wow! Like, say, do you paint every day, or do you paint? No, don't paint every day. I uh, I paint as the feeling hits me, and I will paint in in in, in a series of of works. Uh, and if I'm getting ready for a show, uh, how many how many have seen my piece down at the at Mocha Museum of Contemporary Art in Virginia Beach? How many? Probably how many have been there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Years ago. Okay, I'm showing that now. <laughs> and uh, that piece, it, th this exhibit is about. Uh, it's called um, uh, the Collector's Edition, and these are pieces that collectors have purchased of myself and some other artists. So that's what's on exhibit there until December, mm -hmm. through December. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, what, that's what that is. And wow, man, this is, oh man. Yeah, boy, walk with yourself, man. <laughs> Keep on walking with it. Keep on talking about it, yeah. Yeah, why not? Does the Chrysler have a, a Ken Wright? Um, I don't, what well, I've exhibited here, I uh, don't think they have a piece of mine in their collection. Now, why is that? that that's a good question. Why is that? 
how to exhibit it here, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe they don't like me. How many, uh, how many days a week are you over at your studio? I'm usually in there um, Tuesdays, some Wednesday, Thursday, uh, sometimes uh, Saturdays, usually from, say, noon to about two or three. Yeah. But if you're coming and you want to talk and see me, call me and let me know you're coming. Okay. And, and, and what I'll do is uh, put that on my calendar. Do you, do you teach any classes? <laughs> I have, yeah, and at the at the art center, you mean, yeah, uh, yeah, um, but because of time, my schedule is. My wife can tell you, my schedule is so that good gosh, man. If if I did a lot of teaching, now I do teach Thursdays. I teach homeschool kids, uh, thirteen to eighteen, um, at um, at a church in Virginia Beach. Been doing that for about seven years, and these kids, man. Some of them are going to, and some have, going out to be professional artists, going into colleges, universities. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was just asked uh, this week to um, host a student at uh, National South of Canada. Students there that are in the arts. And they want me to host a student. In other words, come to my studio, hang out with me a bit, follow me, see what I do, mm -hmm. talk to them about careers and all. A lot of folks will say, man, you're not gonna make any money in art. Anybody told you that? Has anybody said that you? <laughs> well, if you don't make any money, that's because of you. <laughs> you know, if you're, not making, if you're not making any money, then maybe, I'm not gonna say change your career, but I will say you're not putting your work in front of the right audience. That's what it is. Fine, the right. The right eye has to see what you do, especially being an abstract painter like me. The right eye has to see what I do. And thank God Almighty, we ain't day no more. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm selling pieces at, at, at price, and my wife can tell you, I can't afford to buy it. <laughs> I can't afford it. I really, I can't. When this is done, I can't afford to buy it. Now you guys can, <laughs> Bob. You can, no. <laughs> but I can't. I'm serious. I can't afford to buy my own stuff. Now let's see. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna try it with this one. I've noticed you got some pretty unusual uh, hand holding of your brush. So what? So you hold your brush in a, in a different kind of way than what I've seen. Do I hold my brush? Yeah, I like it. It's different. Yeah, that's too, yeah. yeah. How, how do you guys hold your brush? Yeah, I do a little bit of everything, but. Carefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ken, I have a question for you. Question. Our, our group is um, aging. And a I, aging? Aging. Oh. <laughs> well, you said it. But. And I, I, I would like to. Uh, I'd like us to add younger art, artists. To oh them. man, I've heard that so much too. So and uh, a, a more diverse uh, group of artists. Right. Do you have any recommendations wow. for us? That's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, at my church, we are looking for youth because our church, the average age, and, and, I, and we, we have a large church. But our age of members is, oh, I know the color I want to put in there, is, um, oh, did I bring it? I don't think I bought it. I want it, oh, no, that's white. Well, anyway, I ain't going to worry about it. Is, what, you, what would you say, love, 65? 60, 60s is the youngest. Up to, up to 100 and how old is Andrews? Oh, he's 104. Digging Andrews. He's 104. Wow. Huh? And we are trying to figure out how do we get, now what you have to do to get young people involved, you got to speak their language. You got to speak their language. You know, how come, no, how come you, have you invited anybody here? We tried. Under, <laughs> under, under 30s? Under, well, I'm saying under 30, under 20 years. Or something. You've tried to invite them, and well, what, and what we're happened? On it. We're 
college. You one of the things, yeah, we want to get, we want to definitely bring in some college, yeah. you know, and, and make some inroads to the younger, um, on younger groups. You had a question? No, I was just getting excited with what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that pop. <laughs> Love it. You gotta see it. Yeah. Before you do it, you gotta see it, man. If you don't see it. You got to see that brush stroke before y'all put it there. Do you listen to music when you paint? Usually not. Usually, my music is me. <laughs> I'm the music. <laughs> I don't. Some artists say that they take it. And look, an artist that I don't, I don't get paint on my clothes. <laughs> I don't get paint on my face. I don't have paint on my shoes. Have you seen artists that have paint everywhere? <laughs> what is that all about? <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? I have no idea. I got a lot of, I got a bunny. I got a bunny that all of his clothes paint everywhere. Why, man? I can't afford to put paint here. I gotta put it up there. So usually, yes, I do I have paint on my hand? Oh yeah, there's oh, oh, oh. some paint right there, I'm sorry. But uh So do you talk to yourself when you're painting? Yeah. Yeah. Just like I'm talking now. Man, you're walking. Ken, you're walking, man. Do you play music? Do you listen to music while you're painting? No. Uh-uh. He just said, yes, He's his own music. I'm the music. I'm my music. When I'm... Now, I don't know too much about this right here. I might walk in there just a bit across some of this. Just a tiny bit, just a boop, dip, dip, boom. Just a little walk, 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 walk. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm the music when I'm painting and I'm talking to myself, talking to my painting and saying how wonderful it is and saying, wow, man, that is really happening there. Whoa, whoa, oh, watch that stroke there. Oh, gosh, watch, watch out now, guys. Watch out, Ken. Ken, that's a tough one there. Oh, Ken. Ooh. 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 Wow, what are you talking about? Yeah, man. It is happening. It is happening. <laughs> hey, how about time looking? How much time I got? I'm good. Um, you probably got about 15 minutes to. 15? That's all we got. Um, Thereabouts. Yeah, around 15 more. You're looking pretty sharp, Ken. Ken, you're looking good, man. I'm talking to myself. Any other, any other cans in here? We're agreeing with you. <laughs> <laughs> any other cans in here? I don't think so. No. Now, now somebody said. What's your name? You said you were looking for that pow. Pop. That's what, that's what you said. Pop, yeah. Okay, watch this pop. Watch me now. Gosh. Gotta see it. Gotta see it happen, right? Gotta see it happen. There it is. Okay. Wow. Gotta see it happen, man. Wow. Oh, gosh. Look at that, man. Oh, Ken, that's tough, buddy. Oh, that's good stuff, man. Good stuff. That's good stuff. Wow. Look at that man. That's just out of here, right? That's just from here. And now Ah. Yeah. Now I'm just guessing what you're gonna do. Huh, what'd you say? Uh, now I'm just guessing what you're gonna do. Okay. Oh you're guessing? Yeah. Okay, what am I gonna do? I don't know. I'm not sure you know. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. I'll tell you the truth. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, but I do know whatever I do, it's going to be a successful piece. In fact, that piece right now is, 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 is talking. It's walking, man. Yeah. A lot of people, and some of y'all are probably saying, oh, I can do that. What 
Well, I can do that. You know what? Here's a paintbrush. Come on up. Anybody? No. Anybody? No. no. And then, and then some would say, "How long did it take you to get to, to, to where you are now? How long did it take me to get to this part of my life as a painter?" What's the answer? Fifty years. Oh, who said fifty years? Me. Barbara. <laughs> Barbara, you're correct. It took me fifty years. Fifty years to get to. Do what I'm doing. It's 50 years, man. Y'all can believe it or not. You can believe it or not, but it's true. That's 50 years, man. So, did you find it hard to go from being the uh, representative painter, like a landscape painter, to being an abstractionist, or did you find it pretty easy? Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy. Because you know why? And, and, and I hope this is helping you all. How many of y'all are kind of a, a little tight with your work? <laughs> a little tight. <laughs> yeah. 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 Loosen up, man. Loosen up. Let the piece walk. Talk to it. Boom that brush. Don't just stand with it. Eeny, deeny, body, boom, boom. Just go, wow. <laughs> boom. Look at that, man. Talk about it as you walk. And keep moving. Loosen up with that brush. Don't, don't be afraid of making a mistake. There is no mistakes. Whoever heard, has, who's ever said, and, I, and when I was studying art, I have a couple of degrees in painting and art and so forth. And in my studying, I have my, my art history book is that thick. And in there, one of the things it said, don't divide a canvas in half. Anybody ever heard that? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> But, here's the butt part. You gotta make it work. Yeah. You don't do it to where it looks like a painting here and a painting there. That ain't working, baby. You gotta, you gotta make it walk to where you make it happen, you make it work. You know? Oh, wow. Good gosh, look at that painting. <laughs> look at that abstract, man. Mm. Somebody tell me something. Somebody say something. Oh, you say it looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Why? Why do you say it looks good? I love it. I just think it needs your signature. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, don't say it. Don't say. It. Don't say it looks good. Cause you're trying to make me feel good. Say it because. You actually see it, and you mean it. It looks good. What looks good? What do you like about it? The color palette. The, oh, that all? Okay. Here's what. I'm actually liking your negative space versus your. Ah. I'm really liking the negative ah. space. Ah. Now, how many know he's dead? Gosh, all of us I know are dead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bark your sheets. Box of sheets. Yep. How many know him? Yes. Huh? Yeah. How many have heard of him? Well, at least two of us. Shame <laughs> 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 <Damn, laughs> on you. Box of sheets. Box of sheets is the founder of the art department at Virginia Wesleyan. Mm. Box of sheets. He was a very um, marsh painting. Watercolor. He did marsh. Oh. Mm. Marsh. With the trees in there, mm -hmm. with the grass going up in there. Look him up. Look him up. See, now what you can do, you don't have to believe what I say. Look him up for yourself. Bark the sheep. And what he, he said was this about my work. I spoke to one of his classes, and Barkley said, Abstraction is a close-up of realism. Can y'all understand what that means? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Abstraction is a close-up of realism. Try this sometime. Take a, especially on a sports page with football players and basketball players, 
Take the page and look at it, and you see what it is. Fold it in half. Now it's becoming a little bit abstract. You see legs, maybe, or arms, or you may see a ball. Fold it again. Fold it four times. Well, that page is now about that size. Well, that's the close-up. Oh, man, that's good. Wow, man. That's good, Barbara. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I don't touch anybody in here, it's your fault. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Now, look, here, here's a guy here, right? Look at him. Look at him. But I'm going to let it keep going. Why? Because what is it? And, and what I do, a lot of times you'll see something happening here. You'll see me follow up with somebody on the other side. Like this, boom, 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 pow, right? Look at that balance. Look at him. Yeah. Ah, look at him. You see what I, you see? What I, you see? Yeah. Did you see what happens? He's going to sleep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to sleep. <laughs> but you see what happened there? Look, 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 look at this now, right? There it is again. Boom. Now, I want to help that go down to the bottom, right? So how do I do that? Tell me how. Add more water. Add a little water. I did it before. Right? And don't ever leave your, your brushes sitting in your water, right? Y'all know that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You, you? You always keep your brush. I mean, that's your tool. Some, some of my brushes are brushes that I've, oh man, some of my brushes are brushes I've, I've used for 20 years or more. And they still look, they still look like I just got them. I'm telling the truth. Because I can't afford to buy a whole lot of brushes. Well, I can, I guess, because I was telling y'all, wow. Mm. How many of y'all own a can right? Mm. I can't afford one. <laughs> Chances are. Nobody. You do? You own a can right? No, not yet. Did, uh, yeah, that's the word, not yet. <laughs> but. Do you or did you know Amy Jackson? Oh, oh man, did I know Amy Jackson? Man, let me tell you something. That's a good question. Um, when I first came here to, to Hampton Roads in that Norfolk State, my other than my dad, my first painting instructor was Amy Jackson. Mm -hmm. Amy Jackson. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from him. And you know, he was the first African American in the boardwalk show. I do know that. And that first year he was in it. Of course, they rejected him before he even got in. Oh, but they finally let him in, right? Mm -hmm. And when they did, 1963, he won Best in Show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best in Show, man. So they looked at the work and not the man. Mm -hmm. Look at my work. Don't look at me. Don't say Ken Wright is an African-American artist. Don't say that. Say Ken Wright is an American artist. I had him. So after him. I had him, my first oil painting teacher at Old Dominion was Amy. At Oak, yeah, he went there after Norfolk State. Yeah. Now, when he left Norfolk State, he went to ODU. And he gave me so much pointers on taking care of your work. In class, when he was teaching me, we were painting. If you took your work, for example, you got to rush off to the next class, right? And, and you just took your, your, if you're working on a piece of paper or illustration board, and you fold it in half so you can get it under your arm. Hmm. Big mistake. Wow, big mistake. Never teach your work like that. Always treat it like this, the best piece you've ever done. Always, every piece that you do, treat it like it's the best piece you've ever done. Hmm. Don't say, well, I'm going to throw this away. How many of y'all are throwing some work away? <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame on you. Keep that piece and learn from it. Learn from it. Learn from it. If you think you have mistakes in it, get, get better. Get be wow. Man, this is a word. <laughs> oh, man. Come on with me. What, 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 what other color do I need? Any and all? I'm going to leave most of this white, but I always cover even the white areas with white. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? But with you guys, with watercolor, you don't use white paint. You mm -hmm. white in the paper, right? Yes. But I always cover 
my canvas everywhere. If, if this is white, that's going to be white paint. Why? Because in there, you're going to see some brush strokes. You're going to see some strokes happening. Have you yeah. already painted that white before you started? Oh, uh -uh, no. So how are you going to go in and paint oh, the white that, in that without good, messing that ain't up? Ain't that a good question? Watch it. Watch me. Okay. Watch me. We got Watch about, me. We got about five more, five maybe ten more minutes. Is that all? Yep. Man, this ain't no... This, you guys, you guys got to have me to come back when you're serious. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Wright, part two. <laughs> you got to have me to come back yeah. when you're serious. When we're over at the Art Center, you can paint as long as you want, and as long as anybody's and, watching. And, and, and we say, as long as y'all stay and then leave yeah. while I'm still painting. I just did a demo over there last week, and I had, I had uh, in that little room was, was about 19 people. Wow. Standing, standing there watching me paint and, uh, you know, asking questions and all of that. And some had, were students of mine. Uh, and one kid, uh, Zach, is 18. No, he's 16. Zach follows me, man, like, he wasn't there. I'm surprised Zach's not here now. <laughs> Ain't that right, love? Zach, That's good. when he is that I'm painting somewhere, he's right there. That's good. That's good. He's, he's adopted you as a mentor. Yeah. He's there. And listen, his dad is an artist. His dad is an artist that paints more traditionally. Uh, if I get to paint on the floor, it's not my fault. Right. <laughs> We're out of here. I don't know if they noticed, notice, really. They might not notice, huh? Okay. Look what happened here. Yeah. You guys see what happened here? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Watch me now. Wow. 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 Boom. Boom. Wow. Now, let's go with it. What do you say I got? Well, what? Five minutes? Yeah, we can do another five. Okay. Watch me, guys. Because I was going to do more for Nessie. But I think you get the point. I think, I think you get what's going on, right? So, Ken, I'm going to ask you a question that no artist likes to be asked in public. Mm. Okay. What, what What would you ask for a piece that size? <laughs> oh, I can I can tell you that real. I can tell you that real. How much is this right here? Yeah. 1995. Yeah. 1995 to 2250. Yep. Yeah. That's the price of that piece. Okay. 1995 to 2250. Mm -hmm. That's not 20 dollars. It's not $19. <laughs> Because a lady watching my demo at the art center, when I said 1995, she said, oh, I want to buy it now, 1995. I said, yeah. She says, can I buy it right now? I said, yeah. She started looking at her purse for $19.95. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't want to embarrass her. I said, no, honey. That ain't going to work. But let me tell you the butt part. My, my prices increase. The value of your pieces should be increasing. You see what I mean? But I know where I am in Hampton Roads. Uh, i tell you who told me to triple my price. The curator at the, at the uh, White House. The curator at the White House said, Mr. Wright, whatever your price is, you need to triple it. I said, what? He said, look at where your work is. George W. Bush, Barack Obama, Ken, look at where you are, man. I said, wow, you're right. He says, you need to triple whatever you're charging. Well, that means I just went up to six grand. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what did you say? If you don't get it quick, it's going to be 10 before we get it. <laughs> she said that. Does that uh, mean this guy I mean, that, there's grand? a lot to be said for that because I, I will say, I've, especially in the abstracts, I've seen um, the, the. I was just over at Stockley Gardens doing that show yeah. a couple of weeks ago. And, yeah. um, and a, a friend of mine, um, there, she, she's doing paintings about your size. And she's in the four to six thousand range, and she's selling them. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Yeah. And see, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being very conservative. Yeah. Very much so. How many know Clayton? Singleton. You know the price. You know the price of his land. No, yeah. I got him started. You see what I mean? When he was a baby, his mom introduced him. Not a baby, but he was probably maybe fourteen. His wife, his his mother introduced him to me, and when I met him then, I said, "One day you're going to be noted, a noted artist." His works now are selling the size of this one here, like. 30,000, 30,000, and my tantrum blood. I had, I had a show with him, and I said, man, I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed to put my work up here next year, and I'm selling mine at, well, I, I had a couple that was, that was 10,000, 10 grand, uh, that's a little bit larger than that one, um, but, okay, I'm going to do a little finesse right here, watch this. Watch it, watch quick now because you know you're gonna miss it. Watch quick now because you're gonna miss it. Watch quick. Are you watching? Yes. Mm -hmm. Got your eye on me? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Come on. Wow. What? Wow. Oh, wow. Pencil. Pencil. Oh, wow. Ah, boom! Great, there the one. Oh, ain't that good stuff, bro? Pencil. So, what's your tool? That's a pencil. Oh, there's a number two. That's a number two pencil. But what I like to do, and when you all come to the studio, you'll see sometimes a little line work in Ken's work. Ken, we gotta start wrapping it up. Oh, we wrap, we wrap it up. Wrap it up. Okay, so what do you want me to say? Nothing. Question. No, you're good. Question. Wrap it up any way you want. Okay, I, okay. I, I, go before you say that. Before you answer the question, I want to wrap it up with one of this piece right here. This piece right here, guys. It's a piece that was just created with an audience, right? Mm -hmm. It was it was freely done. I, didn't, I don't do pencil sketches and the ideas. It's from here. It's not from here. It's from here. That's where my work is from, right there. And I can say that because 50 years, I can tell you the trials that I've been through. As a man of color, I can tell you what motivated me to be the best that I can be. And that's what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. The best mm -hmm. that Ken can be. And when you look at that painting right there, say it to yourself. I don't like it. I ain't mad at you. But say, that's the best that he can be. All I gotta do is sign it. I would sign it now, but y'all got to go. <laughs> I would sign it. I, I use a sign right here with a brush. Do y'all sign with a brush? Mm -hmm. yeah. You do? Yeah. I sign with a brush right there. Pow. And look, it's just about dry, except for right here, it's a little wet right there. <laughs> but what questions you got? Comment. Yes, sir. Your palette is just loaded with, is that acrylic paint? Mm -hmm. Yes. Will you, what, the, what values do you want to drive? What do you do with it? From the palette? Yeah. Well, usually, I just put it aside and start another one. Usually, when the paint gets about an inch high or so, I'll put it aside and start. Now, I just put some paint right there I didn't even use. Mm -hmm. Right there. That, uh, yes, I did. I mixed it with yeah, the You, uh, you got a dab. Yeah. And raw sienna right there. Uh, I walked and I walked back and looked at it. Now, I have painted large pieces like that upright. Um, piece over at the uh, Chesapeake Conference Center yeah. is five foot by seven foot canvas. As you come in the main door, it's right there on the right. left hand, yeah. right hand side. It's right there. It's a Ken Wright. <laughs> yeah. But you would know it's a Ken Wright without anybody telling you. 